This is Hannibal here from the HannibalTV.com with a quick follow-up. Yesterday, I reported that Enzo was allegedly injured by a DDT and got knocked out on an event in Texas on the weekend for uh, a company that Teddy Long is involved with. And apparently, through sources within the company, that was a work. And I did have my suspicions when I first heard it, I have to say, because I was covering that company over the past several months. And I do know that the blood hunter was injured twice working for that company. The first time he had to go to the hospital himself to get stitches as there was absolutely no paramedics there. And the second time the owner of the establishment where the event was taking place, Southern Junction, had to go and get super glue to super glue him up after Sabu hit him with the chair and actually gave him a concussion. Now, again, the company didn't even go out and get the super glue. The owner of the establishment did. So I found it weird that there would be an ambulance on hand with a stretcher to take someone to the hospital when I never saw any ambulance at their events in the past. So again, that was confirmed to me by several people within the company that that situation was a work. And I know he was wrestling one of his friends because I was actually uh, on the call on a speaker when he was booked for the company um, through one of the owners there. And he had mentioned that uh, he wanted to wrestle his friend the first time in. Another piece of news I reported yesterday, and that same report was regarding um, Buck Zumhoff going to jail for a long period of time regarding doing sexual stuff to children. And of course, Buck had a history of doing that. Even after he had his first convictions, WWE used him. I guess they didn't do background checks in the early 90s on wrestlers. But I just want to clear something up. A lot of people didn't know about that, including me, because that video has almost 30,000 hits, so I don't regret doing the report. However, I guess he was sentenced in 2014. The person that sent me the report um, thought that it was recent, and I didn't realize that it was an old report. So I stand corrected on both of those things. The Enzo getting knocked out was a work, and Buck Zumoff going to jail where he is now for his disgusting child predator crap actually happened in 2014. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free.